So far we have seen a lot of rules in IUPAC nomenclature and we have also discussed examples to understand them in detail. Now to summarize, we have seen that how to identify parent chain or longest chain, how to identify principal functional group which will be your suffix and which will determine the root name of your organic compound, how to identify the substituent which will act as your prefix and we have also seen that the name of the functional group actually changes depending on whether it becomes your prefix or your suffix and the substituents of side chains, how do we do the numbering? Substituents of side chains are assigned lowest number based on their first point of difference. We have also seen that if you have two or more chains in equivalent position in that case or whenever there is a tie between the positions in that case preference is given alphabetically. In another case we have seen that if two or more chains are actually competing for equal positions or equally competing for their parent chain in that case priority will be given to that chain which has the greatest number of side chain or more number of branching and after selection of that particular chain numbering is done in such a way that the numbering is actually done from the end closer to the substituent or from where the branching actually takes place and not from the other side. So I hope you have actually clear with all the various rules that we have discussed so far. Please practice more problems to understand IUPAC nomenclature in detail. Uh, thank you.